we've never been through this before. But Lincoln Weaver knew something wasn't right. Because I'm panicking, crying. When her six-year-old son Calvin's oxygen levels dropped. That's a scary feeling. You don't know what's what's happening in that moment. Nearby hospitals full, twice turned away. The Farmersville parents turned to Cook Children's in Fort Worth for help. You feeling better, Cal? Yeah, <laughs> he says, yeah. <laughs> the hour and a half ambulance ride, a nightmare. Her son had respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV. It can be very serious for babies. That's Dr. Maxie Brewer with Cook Children's, and she says this year, RSV spiked early. It's been crazy. December is normally when RSV begins, but this year cases rose in August. And ever since, the hospital has been at max capacity, seeing up to 500 ER patients per day. This has been the highest volume of patients I have ever seen. RSV cases have led to long wait times in the ER. Brewer's advice, get help right away if you notice trouble breathing or fast breathing, but save the ER for emergencies only. Any idea why it has started so early this year? You know, we really don't know why. Now that school is back in session, We've kind of seen that the viruses have kind of started a new trend. A trend that led to a six hour wait time in the ER for this worried mom. There was several doors open and you could see infants and in, in cribs that were dealing with the RSV. So um, that was heartbreaking. Heartbreaking for a mom who knows it could have been much worse. In Fort Worth, I'm Adriana D'Alba.